Well, it might be considered a fifth season here in Pennsylvania. Pothole season, it has arrived. It sure has. The more precipitation that falls in the winter, the more potholes we'll likely see pop up as we get closer to spring. And we are seeing that alley. <laughs> it has arrived. Good morning, John and Mindy. So Pennsylvania, all of Pennsylvania, a larger network of roadways than New York, New Jersey, all of New England combined. It's 40,000 miles of roads, which means 40,000 miles worth of places for potholes to form. And that's something that happens as a direct result of the weather. When it's cold enough for precipitation to freeze and then warm enough for it to thaw, it's called a freeze-thaw cycle. And the freeze-thaw cycle here in Pennsylvania is extreme this time of year. In our winters in Pennsylvania, the temperature change can be very extreme. It can be very cold some days. And as like this week, it can be very warm. This week is the perfect example of just how extreme the freeze-thaw cycle is thanks to warm, sunny afternoons and then cold, clear nights. You know, we've seen 19, 20 degrees over the last few days, and then it gets up to 40 and almost 50 degrees during the day. Uh, that really is difficult for us to manage. PennDOT officials say they see the worst of the freeze-thaw cycle between February 15th and April 15th here in NEPA. And while they might call it freeze-thaw season, you call it pothole season. The constant freeze and thaw of precipitation on the ground is how potholes are formed. The precipitation gets underneath our pavement structure, the precipitation freezes, the ground expands, and then as the ice melts and it, the water drains out, then um, everything contracts, which leaves the cavities for potholes to form. When a car drives over the contracted ground, the pavement surface cracks and creates the pothole. More precipitation in the winter means more potholes on the roadways, but clouds also play a role. Uh, that creates a lot of problems because our roads don't dry out. They stay wet throughout the day and then that could seep into the sub base, freeze at night and cause additional holes to form. Uh, so the sun is helpful to our roads. That's why we do a lot of tree clearing and daylighting. Asphalt plants are not open until around the beginning of April, so until then, road crews will use a cold patch to fill the holes, which is basically soap, water, and a fine aggregate mixed together. The soap and water evaporate, and the material hardens, and then John and Mindy road crews will permanently fix those holes in the spring when those asphalt plants open, and you can always report a pothole to the PennDOT Pothole Hotline. It's 1-800-FIX-ROAD. And a lot of people call potholes the state flower of Pennsylvania. Yeah, they, they bloom, bloom every spring. <laughs> Love it. All, All right. right, thank you, Allie.